Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Rob. This is my craft corner. And today I got my good buddy Johnny Gilbert and Hair Jordan here. And I'm gonna be kind of honest, guys. They're kind of children. So today I'm gonna be trying some parenting hacks on them. Oh, no! No! I freaking got you! I freaking got you, bro! First place! You suck! <laughs> you know, intern, Mario Kart is real fun. But I have something even more fun for you. Uh, wait right here. I'll be right back. Two hours later. Ugh, doing my laundry! <laughs> anyway, uh, since you wanted Mario Kart, your prize is to do my laundry. You're a sore loser, Robbie. Yeah, yeah, do my laundry. This is supposed to be my day off. Yeah, yeah, do my laundry. Eight hours later. Wait, what the heck are you doing? Are you folding those? Yeah, I'm doing my best. In turn, if you fold them like, what the heck is the? <sighs> That's not correct at all. If you do it like that, it's gonna take all day. Just stay here, I'll be right back. video is sponsored by Jackery. Just kidding, it's not sponsored. I wish it was sponsored. Jackery, sponsor me. So the first step is buy a $1,500 Jackery battery, then you just throw it away, okay? Uh, then you go ahead and uh, cut up the box, and boom, you got yourself some cardboard. And it's said to cut it in a very specific way, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one in half. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Now they cut a separation between this one, but uh, they end up taping it together, so I'm just gonna leave it together so that it folds nice and goodly. Then we get our tape and tape it together. And there you go. We now have a perfect folding apparatus. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Mr. Beast merch to try and fold it. Boobity boop, boobity boop. And last but not least, boobity boop. Oh yes, a perfectly folded t-shirt every time. I mean, I don't really like how this is folded, but um, you know, <laughs> it works great. Oh yes, time to show this life hack to the intern. Here you go, intern. I made this for you. So what is this? This is how you make the perfect fold every time. Bobby, that's impossible. You just put your shirt right there. You just go boop, boop, and then you fold it like that, okay? That is the proper way to fold a shirt. You see this, intern? That's how you do it. It looks like sh <laughs> Anyway, if you want me to fold it that way, I can. Okay, I'll see you later. Oh, hey, Robbie, I pulled all your laundry. Oh, wow, intern. These look fantastic. Thanks, man. However, there's one problem here. I don't know why you folded all my laundry. Because I actually hang all my clothes. Then why did you make me this thing? Oh, I just saw you were folding, and I thought it would help. Um, I'm not really sure why you folded them. Anyway, can you hang these for me? Thanks. You did a fantastic job of folding these. Keep up the good work, champ. I'm going to go take a nap to make a really fun picture holder. What you're gonna wanna do is follow this design with a 3D pen, and then you just fill it up with photos. Whoa, how cute. Okay guys, so here's our 3D pen. I'm not the most familiar with this medium of craft, but uh, you know, it's one that uh, I've been meaning to practice a little bit. I'm not the biggest fan already of how much time it takes to heat up. 12 seconds later. Here we go. I will do my very best to make some uh, perfect little booty boops. You can do it, get out of there. Oh, so I'm just started coming out. Why is it blue? Oh, it's turning purple. Okay, it's working. Okay, guys, wish me luck. Okay, this may prove to take a little bit longer than I anticipated. But it's okay. Uh, I have all night. Okay, one color done. Um, I will go ahead and work on the other ones. And then, does this still actually come up? Oh, no. I think I actually... Ah! I think it melted to the mat. Oh, my gosh. I may have messed up here a little bit. Ah! I have, in fact, made it stick to the mat. Use my throwing knife to really just pull it up. It's okay, guys. Crisis averted. Ah! Good thing this is self-healing. But uh, I don't know how well this is actually going to work. I might want to uh, look into using something else, actually. I think that this blue mat is a little bit more promising for some reason. Plus, you can actually see it, so that's a, that's a plus. But now, none of them really line up. Uh, whatever, I'll make this work. Okay, guys, so, uh, <laughs> I mean, it mostly came together. Just have to cut it free. Come on. Oh, oh you can do it! I know this is a throwing knife and not a, a peeling up 3D pen stuff from a mat knife, but it's working, kind of. Oh my gosh, that purple is stuck on there. Okay, it's free! We did it! Look how cool that looks! Look how 
doesn't hold photos. Okay guys, we're gonna have to move some stuff around here a little bit. Huh, how's it going? And boobity boo, this is looking pretty good. Now let's hang up some photos. So we got a photo of Tori de Bransk and the bench. This is a pretty cute one. It's going right up here because uh, Bench and Tori are top tier. Here's uh, me and the gang uh, on Thanksgiving. Again, that's a, that's a pretty good moment. Got the intern in here, the bench again. There's one with uh, me and Hair Jordan in the craft corner. This one's also a really good one, but it doesn't fit. It'll start covering everything, so I'm gonna put it there. Here's another one, we went down to the swimming hole. Me and Tori de Bransk. And here's a few of me and the bench. Honestly, I take a lot of photos of me in the bench. But overall, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works really well. How cute! Look at that. I'm just holding all my photos, and then I want to switch them out. I'm gonna always do that. Just switch out a different photo of me. Boom! How cute. Well, that's staying there. Oh, oh, hey intern. What's so up? apparently I'm supposed to make you this cute egg shape. Yeah, dude, that'd be awesome. I'm actually really hungry. Yeah, I can tell you're getting really cranky here. Uh, kind of being a little bit of a butthole. You locked me in your closet. That, uh, <laughs> dude, it's uh, there's literally no lock on here. You could have, you could have left any time. Well, anyway, I was gonna make you some eggs, but I actually did a whole hour and a half long video where I made a bunch of fun egg recipes that you guys can click right here. Uh, so I don't, I don't feel like I really need to make you these, but um, I'm still hungry. There's snacks in my pantry. Go wait. Oh, perfect. Here, come on, come on, come into my pantry, intern. He says he's hungry. I'm gonna show him who's hungry. Yeah, intern, just go in there. Just go into the pantry. Oh, dude, there's tons of food in here. Hey, Are you kidding me? <laughs> Mommy, let me out. And now it's time to put these bad boys together. They didn't really say how they put them together uh, in the video. Um, apparently they just kind of go on like this, but I don't really see how that would stay in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and break out my trusty hot glue gun and just glue this bad boy right in place. I'm gonna break out this fan end so it cools a little bit faster. Oh no, my plates. Finger. Well, you know what they say. It's not a Robbie video unless I burn myself with a glue gun. This definitely turned out pretty cool looking. But does it work? <laughs> hey, intern. What's up? How are you enjoying those snacks? They're pretty good. Hi, Ben. How are you, Ben? Me and the Ben were just checking up on you, and uh, I wanted to show you this new marble machine that I made. Whoa, dude, that actually looks really cool. Yeah, it doesn't work very well, uh, but I, I wanted to give it to you because I figured you were really bored inside this pantry. I am, and I really appreciate it because this is really cool. So it's just like a little slide. Whoa! Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, it like jumped out and then jumped onto the bottom one. That was actually really cool. Oh, dang. Here, let me try one more. You know, it's a little disappointing. <laughs> it's pretty, so that's what matters. It's art. Well, I hope you enjoy it, intern. I do. Thank you, Robbie. I'll just stare at it for the next couple hours until you decide to let me out. Sounds good. Also, this door also doesn't have a lock. Oh, sorry, just leave? So for this one, you're gonna want a can and cut it up like this, put some tin foil all over it, and then throw your charcoal into it. Light that bad boy on fire. Find a grate for another barbecue, I guess. And now you can cook hot dogs. Wow, what a life hack. So if you have the grate to a barbecue, but you don't have the whole rest of the barbecue, you can make yourself one. Okay guys, so here is our coffee can. Now we're gonna have to cut giant slits in this. Maybe these scissors will work? Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Plus, I think I might have just damaged my scissors. Oh, man. Well, it's a good thing I got these giant tin snips. I'm not sure exactly why you guys would have a set of these, but I do, and it makes it very convenient. There we go. Okay, cut it a little bit more. Then we get our tin foil, and we just put it right on it. Okay. Looking pretty good. Let's go try this bad boy outside. But before we do that, I need to grab a grate to cook the hot dogs on. Um, unfortunately, I don't really have one except for in this little barbecue that I already have. Okay. Well, I guess this little grate inside of it will be just perfect. Well, don't need this dumb barbecue anymore. All I need is this little perfect barbecue. I'm gonna add some charcoal, a little bit of lighter fluid. Boobity boom. Time to light this puppy on fire. Here we go. 
And there we go, a perfect little barbecue. And we wait for our coals to stop burning, and then we put on our little hot dogs. A few inches later. Oh, okay, guys, it looks like our coals are just not burning down. These coals are gonna be burning forever. So we're just gonna go ahead and add our hot dogs. I think I only really need to cook one. What ought to do? Am I cooking this? By the time we're done, we're gonna have a perfectly cooked little wiener. Oh, yes, look at that. Cooked to perfection. But how does it taste? It's pretty good. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this actually works. I think it works way better than actually having a real barbecue or even this fancy fire pit. Cause who needs any of that stuff? Just take apart your barbecue, make it into a smaller barbecue, and there you go. It works. So here's how you can make fun little paw prints whenever you walk. First thing you're gonna need is a sponge. Draw a little paw print on it. Put a little bit of hot glue. And glue it to a piece of cardboard. And then put some double sided tape on that bad boy and step on it. And boom, it'll look like you're leaving little paw prints everywhere. It's like you're a wild animal. Animal. Plus, you'll know exactly where your kid goes, I guess. That's also um, the main point, I suppose. But uh, uh, anyway. Okay, guys, so here's our sponge. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw a little paw. I even have room to do one on the other side. Now I'm going to take my scissors and cut it out. I feel like I need to cut this sponge in half just because it's way too thick. This is actually a car sponge, believe it or not. There we go. That'll be easier. Ugh, now to carefully cut all these out. Okay, so now that we got these bad boys all done, we're gonna go ahead and grab them, put them to the side, grab ourselves a box, and just take it apart. Cut it in half, and now we're gonna glue our sponge paws on. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and flip them over, grab some double-sided tape, stick that right on there. I feel like I left a lot of extra up here, so I'm actually gonna cut it. Yeah, these turned out pretty good. Let's go try them out. A boobity boo. Now I'm going to carefully put them on my shoes. Looks good. Okay, now I'm going to gently dunk them in this little tin of water. Okay, you guys ready to see some animal paw prints? Oh! Oh! Guys, it's working! Oh! I lost one! Come on! No, come on! Get over here! Maybe I'll try it without my shoes. Here we go. You ready? Guys, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know how I feel about this one. Honestly, the paw print doesn't even come out. Oh, there's kinda one. You gotta do it really gently. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one uh, kinda works. You might need to use something else instead of uh, double-sided tape. But, I mean, if you can get to stick to your feet, it's a fun little idea. Guys, are you tired of how hard it is to put on your pants? Oh man. Well, all you really need is a plastic bag. Just put that bad boy over your foot. And then your pants just slide right on. It also works with your shoes. Don't need a shoe horn anymore. Okay guys, so I got my pants. And I got my bags. And I'm actually wearing long underwear for this, so you guys don't have to see me in my underwear. I mean, it's still technically underwear, but it's long underwear. So we're gonna go ahead and throw these bags on. I'm gonna tie them a little bit just to be safe, you know? Okay, let's see how easy it is to throw these pants on. You ready? Boobity boop! Woo! They just went right in! I mean, it was a little easier. I don't know if it was 100% worth it though, because now I have to try and take these bags off my feet. Uh. Oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. Easy peasy. And also normally my long underwear, whenever I put it through my pants, usually kind of bunches up. So overall, I guess I'm gonna have to say that the bag method actually kind of works. Oddly enough, I am impressed. <laughs> Okay guys, the first thing we need is parchment paper. Go ahead and cut it to fit. Okay, looks pretty good. Then we break out our gummy bears. Oh, these look so delicious. Oh, I wanna eat them all. Mmm, delicious little bears. Anyway, now I have to rearrange them. Wait, now I have an uneven number. Might as well eat these. They didn't really specify uh, for how long or how hot, so, you know, we're just winging it. We put it about 350. I'll be back in about five minutes to see how they turned out. Five minutes later. Okay, guys, it's been about four minutes. Let's see how it's looking. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. They're completely melted. What have I done? What have I done? A winter! What's up, Robbie? What the heck? Why'd you pop? Anyway, since you've been such a good little intern, I decided to make you some homemade lollipops. These look horrible. But it's the thought that matters, right? Here, try one. 
<laughs> All right. Yes, peel it off. Whoa, hey, you're being this selfish. Is a big one. There's way too many there. What do you mean? Uh, these two are for me. Um, um, um. Oh, you are delicious. And you made these yourself? Made them from scratch. Gummy bears, sticks. All right. Oh, you're so nice. You're the best boss ever. These are kind of trash. <laughs> I think they're good. Well, since the intern really likes them, I guess I'm gonna have to say that these actually work. These are delicious. Is this all your stuff just so disorganized? You just don't know where to put anything. Oh. Well, all you have to do is take off your belt, wrap it around a tree, grab yourself some S hooks, and just hang up all your pots and pans. It's the perfect plan. Okay guys, so uh, I live in Las Vegas, and unfortunately, we don't really have trees. But I do have this random pole in my house. So um, I guess that's gonna have to do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take off my belt. Then we wrap it around our tree. Boop -boop -boop. Go ahead and buckle it. And here we go. Uh, we have a perfect place to hang our stuff. So now we're gonna grab some S hooks. Go ahead and put these on there. Oh yes. And now I can hang all my cooking utensils in the green screen room. Because uh, this is where I need them the most, honestly. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one 100% works. Now I'm gonna have to find a life hack for my belt. Okay guys, yeah, so here's our cut. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and cut our wrist straps. That side looks good. Then we flip it over and do the other side. Cut off the extra part. Wow, this watch is really coming together. Now we have to write the numbers for the watch face. Wow, it's so perfect. Then we bust a hole right in the middle, and then we grab some pipe cleaners and cut them down a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and twist them together and then shove it through the hole. Looks like our arms are a little too long. Go ahead and cut one of them. Cut the other one a little bit longer. Now this is a great gift for the intern, but I've been having a lot of fun with the intern, so I don't really want him to leave. So I'm gonna set it to about an hour before he leaves. Oh yes, four o'clock. Don't worry intern, it's only an hour more. Now he'll stay with me forever. What's up? Hey intern, so um, I made you this watch. I already have a watch. Well, you can take it off and put this one on. Well, I already have one. No, you can, here, I'll trade you watches, just. Shh, it's okay. Just okay, give me the okay. watch. I'll give it to you. I'll give, give it me to the you. watch. Thanks. Uh, so will I have it back? Cause no, this that's one's your cool, watch now. But it looks a little cheap, bro. I made it myself, Michael. Oh, it came off. Oh, there we go. Yeah, isn't that a snazzy watch? I like the colors on me. <laughs> I have to read it like this, though. Oh, that sucks. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. <laughs> well, um, uh, are you still bored? Yeah. But you have a watch! But I can't even read it without going like this. Well, uh, you just sit right there, intern. I'll be right back with some entertainment. I'll be back in less than a minute. I'll, I'll keep track of ya. Sounds good. Okay, I'll see you in a, a second. Are you tired of coming home to finding your kid about to eat candy? Uh, cover your hair off the floor? Wow, Dad, I can't believe you didn't even check that. Your mom's so mad. Well, here's the solution. You take a Kinder Egg, and then you take the capsule inside of it. So you're gonna want to put your lollipop inside a capsule so that the candy will stay nice and clean. I don't know where you get one of these yellow capsule things. I see them in so many craft videos and I've seen them in like so many thumbnails, but I never know where the heck to get them. Are they like a European thing or something? Like where do you get them? Like I tried Googling it and I couldn't even figure out what that thing was called. Like they said capsule, but anyway, you're gonna want to put the candy inside of a capsule. And seeing as I don't have one of those capsules, I guess I'm gonna have to improvise. Oh, Toby! Oh, yeah, what? I need you to hold something for me. Oh, uh, like what? Like this lollipop. What do you mean? How am I supposed to fit that? <laughs> you can't even take the wrapper off! Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Can I eat the lollipop? No, that's mine. Oh man. Okay, so you go to put your little tyke to bed and uh, you try to remove their hair ties, but they just won't come off. Well, what you're gonna want to do is grab some lemon essential oils and just dab that stuff right on there. And it'll just break your rubber bands. Just remove them and you don't even have to wake them up. So I have this giant bag of rubber bands here and I'm gonna try and put my hair into Liberty Spikes. Would they technically be Liberty Spikes if I use rubber bands? I don't know. I'm gonna make my hair look really funny though. And you guys are about to embark on this journey with me. Okay guys, what do you think? I personally think I kind of look like uh, Cynthia from Rugrats. And you know, this was fun in theory, but I'm really tired of this now. And I really don't want to yank these out because if I do, ah! Okay, that one wasn't too bad. I thought I was gonna lose a lot more hair than that. So anyway guys, the craft calls for lemon essential oils, but I don't have any. So I'm gonna use this lemon juice instead. Yeah, that ought to work. 
Okay, guys, let's try it. I'm gonna go ahead and just dab a little bit on this cotton swab. Oh yeah, just get it all over there. Theoretically, it will just break a rubber band. Come on. You can do it. Is it breaking? Come on, break. Do you really need lemon essential oil? What's the difference between the oil and the juice? I don't understand. Yeah, that's definitely not breaking. Well, guys, it looks like I'm gonna have to keep my hair like this for now. So I'm gonna have to say, with lemon juice, it absolutely doesn't work. Maybe if I actually had lemon essential oil. I'll try that next time. Can't believe my hair's gonna be like this forever now. Also, intern, what are you doing on my desk? Who's throwing the lemon? <laughs> <laughs> Intern, when was the last time you washed your hands? Huh. That's a good question. Dude, wash your hands, man! But she touched these hands. Dude, come on. Don't worry, guys. I have a hack for this. So originally, I was gonna use this toy to try and entice the intern into washing his hands. But then I remembered, he's a real simp for Pokemon cards. I opened up a couple packs myself recently. These are all my trash cards I got. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them inside this package and just use a hot iron to reseal it. Oh, that looks fantastic. I'm just gonna go and take some scissors and even that out a little bit. It's perfect. He'll never know, especially after I cover them in soap. And the first step to doing that is we cut up our soap. Ah! My preferred method is an axe. You can use whatever tool you like. Perfect. And now that this is sufficiently cut up, we put our soap off to the side, set up our little stove top, turn that baby all the way up, heat up our pan, turn on our fan, that way we don't inhale the soap fumes. This stuff is actually really dangerous, believe it or not. Highly recommend using a fan. And then while you're waiting, you can play with your friends on land. That was a really dumb joke. Anyway, enjoy the soap melting time lapse. So there's a lot of vapor coming from this soap. So I'm wearing a face mask and I have a fan. And I have the window open. I'm trying to take the proper precaution so that I don't mess up my lungs. Okay, now we pour it. I'm gonna go ahead and use this bread tin and then put the cards right in there. And then we carefully pour it right on top. Now we just wait for them to cool off and then we give it to the intern. Four to six weeks later. Now that our soap is nice and cooled off, I have to try and get it out. Oh no, this might be harder than I thought. I'm gonna try and heat up the bottom with this blowtorch. Did that do it? The soap just doesn't want to come out. I got it. I'll use this knife. Come on, soap, you can do it. It's really fighting me here. Come on. Ugh. There we go. I mean, it's still kind of covered in soap, but it didn't really want to stick on. Oh, now it comes out? Are you joking me? There we go. Just hack it all back on. This is perfect. I don't think the intern will even notice. 346 minutes later. Hey, intern, I made you these soap-covered Pokemon cards, and the only way for you to open them is to wash your hands. Do I wash my hands that the woman I love touch, or do I keep them unwashed to preserve her scent? I'm so conflicted. What would Ash Ketchum do? Hands, cards, cards, hands. Are you gonna wash them or not? If you don't wash them, the deal's off! I forgot that. The brand new Pokemon trading card game, Chilling Rain. But this happened at what cost? At what cost? Well, what'd you get? Are you gonna open them or not? Wait, when you melted the soap, you melted the plastic around the Pokemon cards. Oh no, no, the cards are. What? <laughs> They're ruined! <laughs> I have to say that this one totally works. He got the intern to wash his hands. And that was the main goal. Anyway, have fun with that, buddy. Okay, guys, are you out of soap? Well, all you need to do is take the container and put in some soap face. And boom, you got yourself some more liquid soap. It's that easy. Okay, guys, so here's our soap base. And I really don't need all of this, so there we go. Trusty fireman's axe. Oh, yes. Then we get our little empty soap dispenser. I didn't have an empty soap dispenser because I never washed my hands. There we go. One down. Just shove it right in there. Then another one. I should have made these a little thinner now that I'm really seeing it. Nothing more accurate at cutting than a fireman's axe. Okay, let's go fill this bad boy with water. Uh, just ignore that. I did not mean to do that. I'll worry about that later. So, uh, we'll just fill this with water. There we go. Put that on. Give it a little shake. And boom, we got ourselves some refreshing hand soap. Oh, my hands feel so clean. Oh my gosh. Well guys, I'm actually truly really satisfied. Instead of spending a dollar on a new hand soap like this, ugh, just leave that in there. Uh, you could just spend, you know, five dollars on the container and ten dollars on soap base, and boom, you got yourself some, uh, pristine hand soap. So I'm gonna say that this absolutely works. Okay guys, so 
here's our bog. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut off these flaps. Then we get our Christmas lights. I'm just gonna go ahead and poke a hole in the side. That way I can just shove them right in there. Then we make sure that we can spread them out a little bit. And I'm actually gonna make this shorter because I don't think it needs to be this tall. Oh yes, much better. And then we get our cling wrap and just put it right on there. Second layer, just to be safe. Boopity boop. And then they didn't do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and tape up the sides to make it so that the cling wrap really stays on there tight. Yeah, that looks pretty fantastic. And now we add our sand. Fun fact, guys, I actually paid $6 for this one bag of sand. Why is sand so expensive? And there we go. We have ourselves a beautiful little light box. Now let's try it with the intern. Guys, so it's actually been like six hours since I made this thing. And it's kind of late now. It's like two in the morning. I'm sure the intern will really appreciate it. I'm going to wait a little bit so that we can really utilize the dark for this. There we go. I just turned it on. Now let's show the intern. Hey intern, how's it going, dude? I think I fell asleep. What? Uh, it's only been a minute. You're right, it's been less than a minute, according to the watch. Dang, it was like one of those naps where like you blink and then you just knock out. Yeah, so uh, I made you this. Um, What's... Dude, what, what is this? It's a it's a it's a box um thing. Dude, this is literally just a box full of sand. <laughs> it's a box light, and then you can make you can make shapes with this. Like, Dude. I'll write your name. Look, I'm gonna write it. <laughs> See, that's the I, and then that's the M, and then T. I'll turn off the light here so we can really see it. <laughs> See, look, just. <laughs> See, just. Uh, I drew you. Well, in turn, to really let you enjoy this experience, I'm going to turn this light off. So I'll see you later. Uh, just enjoy the dark. So you're sitting there drinking your 12 cans of Coca-Cola, and someone's like, I got to cut you off. And uh, this is what they do with that Coca-Cola, okay? They fill it with gelatin, and then they get a syringe, and they just suck up all the Coca-Cola and put it into a pot. Bed. One by one, just fill all those bad boys up. Put them in the freezer, I'm assuming. And then you have yourself a bunch of pop it gummy treats. I don't know if this is really gonna help her Coca-Cola addiction. Okay guys, so here's our nice ice cold refreshing Coca-Cola. And here's our gelatin. I made sure to get unflavored gelatin. That way we can really taste the Coca-Cola in this. So a normal person would probably mix this into a bowl, but I'm gonna use this mustard dispenser. That way I can just kind of squeeze them into each individual poppet. Ah, it's blood! Add some gelatin. And there we go. Now we're gonna mix it up. Mix, mix, mix. Ooh. Now I'm gonna go ahead and individually fill every single one of these with gelatin. Wow. Look how good these look. Otherwise, I would have just kind of poured them all in there. Okay, now I'm going to carefully put these in the fridge, and then we'll see how they turn out. One eternity later. Okay, guys, it's been about three days, and let's see if these guys are properly solidified. I'm gonna get a plate. Here we go. Can I just plop them on there? Oh, one came out. It's a perfect little jelly. Oh, can I actually just pop them out? Here we go. <gasps> that's so funny. Oh, that's so cute. Boop. Honestly, this is the best part of the hack. So these are looking pretty cute. Um, I like the little gummy snacks, but how do they taste? That tastes so weird. I mean, they taste weird, but I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually worked. Your child's just giving you such a hard time. They're bothering you while you're driving, and you're like, I can't do this anymore. So you grab some markers, and you just stick it to your window. And boom, now they have the markers ready to draw all over your window in your car. I don't see how this could go wrong at all. Okay guys, so here are our markers. And I don't have any of those suction cups on me. So I'm just gonna use some of this double-sided tape. Flip this bad boy over. And it's all set to be put on our window. Wow guys, it's actually sticking. Now we can access our markers just like this. Let's grab a blue. Yes. Now to find out whether you can actually write on your window or not. You ready? You can actually do it. And I keep it in one spot. It's almost like I'm customizing my other adventure mobile. I can draw like, that's me in the back of my car. Just poking my head up through the window. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. point, you're probably thinking, hey Robbie, what's the first thing we need? And the answer to that is a couple of balloons. Then we're gonna take one of the balloons and cut it up real good. Just make real tiny holes. Yeah, that looks pretty fantastic if you ask me. Then we're gonna take this balloon and shove it in this balloon. Get in there. Oh, oh, oh! 
Just kidding, it's just a little bit stuck. And then we break out our tiny funnel. Tiny funnel! Shove that in there. And then you get some glitter. Oh god, I got this glitter everywhere. And shove it right in your balloon. Fun fact guys, did you know that glitter is responsible for like 90% of the microplastics in our ocean? Now we just fill this up with water. Boobity boom. Oh no, I turned the water on way too soon. Fill that up. Oh god. Oh, oh god, it's diarrhea and glittery. Oh my god, look at all that diarrhea glitter. Okay, you guys ready to test this out? Oh my goodness. Look at this beautiful stress ball. I have to show the intern. Huh, what's, what's, what happened? Hey intern, I just want to apologize for the whole laundry fiasco. Uh, so I actually made you this. Oh, that's nice. Wait, no, you don't want it? Wait, come back, no, just, what the? This for you! I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it right here for him. That way he sees it when he wakes up. Have you ever had this problem? You're about to put on your shoes, but there's a little tiny hole in it. Oh, oh no! no. Uh, just grab yourself a 3D pen and just fill that hole right up. Wow, maybe draw a little sun. Oh my gosh, it's so bright and colorful. Don't even notice, it's just decoration on your shoe. I love it. We're gonna do this one, and we're gonna like it. Okay guys, so I actually just threw away all my shoes with holes in them, but I noticed that these Converse have little holes in the aglets. Or, no, these are grommets, my bad. These are aglets, and these are grommets. I can't believe I mixed them up. So I'm just gonna do it on these little grommets instead. And grab our 3D pen. I absolutely suck at 3D pen thing. I already apologize in advance. Let's try this again. Oh my gosh, I can't even get it to like stick. What did she do? Wait, I think I'm even using the same 3D pen. We'll try this again. So she just Fills the hole with 3D uh, pen stuff. Oh my, oh, that's so hot. Oh my God. This isn't even a hot glue gun. It's like the same thing though. I think what I'm gonna do is grab some tape and uh, put it on the inside. That way it doesn't go through the hole all the way. Ooh, I could do this. I'll get it in there, you know, just to give it a good base. <laughs> that looks so weird. Get it in there and tape it down. Oh, I lost it. Okay, whatever. Here we go, come on. Okay, we are making the tiny circles. We are making the tiny circles successfully. Man, that's a tongue twister. Try just saying that. Tiny circle successfully. Yes. Okay, okay, come on. Oh my gosh. Why is this so difficult? Oh my goodness. Now I'm gonna go for the sun. Oh no. <laughs> that is not a sun. Oh my gosh. What am I doing? <laughs> I think that the 3D pen is just such a unique kind of craft. It only goes for like five seconds at a time and then it cools down. <laughs> I don't know if I'm using this 3D pen right. Okay, I suck at this. Well, there's your sun. <laughs> Dude, that was not very secure at all. Oh my gosh, that just fell off. Okay, if someone who was more skilled at 3D pens did this, it would probably work. But for me, this one didn't work. Uh, if anyone has any tips for 3D pens, let me know down in the comments down below. I've never like even watched a video on these, so I think I should do more research next time I use this. Anyway, on to the next craft. Okay guys, so here's our piece of paper that we're gonna be using for the night light. And the first thing I need to do is come up with a stencil design to put in the night light. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this pink piece of paper and just write out the intern's name. Actually, I forget what the intern's name is, so I'm just gonna put intern. <laughs> Perfect, I think you'll love this. Then I get some tape and just tape it right on there. That way it doesn't move while I'm poking holes in it. Start poking the holes. One eternity later. Oh man, this is gonna take a while, isn't it? You know, this looks pretty good, but I think I'm also gonna add a couple little stars. This is a nightlight after all. The intern needs to see stars at night, you see. Boobity boop, boobity boop. Okay, you guys ready to see how it turned out? Carefully remove this. Oh, wow. You guys can't really see it. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, yes, the intern. Guys, I need fairy lights for this one, but I totally forgot it was in the last craft. Hey dude, how you doing? Light. Yeah, uh, I need to borrow that. Why? Dude, that's uh, like my only source of light right now. Dude, I need it you're, for, you're um, sand everywhere. Look, I'll make you another night light, okay? The Just clean up the sand when I leave. Okay. Okay. Here, here. Bye, Robbie. Bye, Robbie. Bye, Robbie. <laughs> 
Well, at least I got the light. 12 seconds later. Now that I got the lights out of this thing, you can use this as a litter box if you want. I got the light out of it. I'm not a cat. Anyway, thanks a bunch. There's no light! Where am I supposed to aim? Okay, guys, and now we're gonna insert this into our cup. Let me grab some fairy lights and shove those inside of our stencil. And there we go! What a fantastic night light. You can't really even read and turn on it. Oh, I'm gonna try turning off the lights. How's that? You can't even read and turn on it! What a ripoff. Well, it's good enough for the intern, so might as well give it to him still, am I right? How long have I been in here? <laughs> Check your watch. Hey, something's up, but it hasn't even been a minute. I know. Time flies when you're having fun, huh? Yeah, so you know how you said you were like depressed or whatever because you didn't have light? Yeah. Well, I made you this night light out of that light I stole from you. So, <laughs> whoa, it says intern on it. Thank you so much. No problem, dude. Well, enjoy your darkness. No, Robbie, come back. I'm so bored. Come on. Hey guys, are you just so tired of putting your fruit in your bag one at a time? All you have to do is just scoop them all up. <laughs> is that even a life hack? I feel like that's just like common sense at that point. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, so here's a fun photo hack. What you're gonna want is uh, two halves of an egg. And then you just make it look like they popped out of it. Oh my gosh, they hatched. Okay, guys, so here's our single egg. Now, we're gonna have to be really delicate when breaking this open, so that's exactly why I got this axe. Go ahead and put it on a plate and carefully just crack it with our axe. Boom, bam. It is now a cracked eggshell. I may have messed this up a little bit. There we go. I cleaned it up. Okay, now let's make it look like I hatched out of this egg like a little tiny bird. Okay, guys, so for this one, I'm actually gonna have it from two perspectives. I'll have it from this perspective, and I'm gonna use my phone to actually take the photo. And then I'm gonna go ahead and flip my phone upside down just so that I can get the camera as low as possible. There we go. Looking pretty good. And here's our little cracked egg. Let's really make it look like I just hatched out of this egg like a little creature. You ready? Okay. Oh, I have to get way back. I have to get way... Okay, I'm... Okay, this looks good. Okay, let's do it. Ready? I'm a baby bird! Feed me! Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this bird hack absolutely works. I think. I don't know. I can't really see the screen this far. Um, this is what it looks like from a not egg perspective. This is what it looks like from the camera's perspective. My, my phone. Does it look real? I can't tell. I think this back might need to be uh, a little bit shorter. Oh, that looks better. Here we go. Let's try it this way. I'm a bird. Or am I a raptor? I don't know. I'm, I'm one or the other. I just hatched. Nice to meet you. Oh, now I'm getting now I'm getting bigger. Oh, I'm so much bigger. Oh, I'm just growing. I'm outgrowing my shell. Oh, it's really cramped in here. How's it going, guys? Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one probably works. I won't really know until afterwards, so I'll let you guys be the judge. Let me know down in the comments down below. Okay, guys, is your shirt just uh, too small for you? Well, here's a solution. You're gonna wanna take another shirt and button it to that shirt. And then you just take the arms, wrap it around yourself, and you got yourself a new shirt. I love it, a two-sided shirt to match my two-sided hair. Guys, I'm just so sick of my black and white striped shirt. So instead of that, I'm gonna get a black and white fancy shirt. Here we go. Just take them off the hangers. Whoa, whoa. Unbutton these bad boys. And apparently we're just supposed to button them together. I hope they haven't even... <gasps> the buttons are on the same side. Oh no! I guess one shirt's just gonna have to be inside out. That's fine. I need to do this on the table. Okay. So I guess I'll actually flip this one inside out. And now the buttons will hopefully line up. Okay, so it turns out they actually went together pretty well. Okay, now let's try this bad boy on. This is gonna be interesting. So I guess I put my arm through one of them and then put my arm through another one of them. Oh wait, I'm wearing it backwards. I'm supposed to wear it the other way. Like, stop. I don't know how I feel about this. Is it supposed to be open back like this? Where's my arm? Okay, I think I got it. So then I pull it around. Wow! Oh my gosh, it works! It kind of looks like a straight jacket, but you know, if this is the look you're going for, I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works! <laughs> look at that, black and white, and then I got like black and white striped shirt under it. This looks so ridiculous.
Okay, let's check out the next one. So for this one, we're gonna need an aloe juice wrapper and a jar of pickles. And apparently, some boiling water, and it just shrink wraps onto the jar of pickles. Perfectly sealed. Okay guys, so here's our pickle jar, and here's our aloe vera juice. We only really need the label, but in order to get the label off, uh, I have to pour all this out. So I guess I might as well try some of this. It's aloe vera and pineapple. I mean, I love pineapple, but I'm not the biggest fan of uh, aloe vera juice. So let's see how this turns out. Bottoms up. No, no, I'm okay. I'm good. I don't want any more. There's just something about the consistency of this that I'm just not a fan of. <laughs> so instead of just pouring all this out, I'm going to attempt to just kind of cut a little section off. I prefer to have the aloe vera section because I think that it would be really funny to see that. I'll try my best to reserve that label. 100% natural real pulp. Ugh. Can you guys imagine pulp and pickles? I mean, does pickles already have pulp? Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Come on. Okay, maybe I'll try a smaller piece of the label. How the heck did they get it off? I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it in this popcorn jug. Ooh. <laughs> it looks so slimy. Maybe if I just squeeze it. It came right off. Oh my gosh, that was way more simple than I thought it would be. I got what I came for. Okay, guys, so I'm actually going to put it in this little tin. That way it collects any excess water that spills off. And I'm gonna use these little tweezers to hold it up. That way I'm not touching uh, you know, this molten plastic and boiling water. Okay guys, here's our boiling water. It's time to see if this actually works. Woo! It's actually shrinking. Oh. oh my gosh, it's actually working. Oh my gosh, guys. It's actually shrinking to the jar. Wow. I don't know how good this is for the pickles inside. It kind of left a little bit of excess right there. But other than that, this is actually sealed. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one actually 100% works. That's really cool. I just broke the seal. Oh, it smells like pickles. Like very warm pickles. Oh man, I really hope I didn't ruin my pickles. So for this one, we're gonna need some eggshells, crush those bad boys up, put them inside of a bag, get some flour, add some water, add some food coloring, mix that bad boy up, just smush it all together. Just really smush it. Cut off the tip of your bag and use it almost like a, a, a cream filling dispenser and uh, wait an hour. And now you got yourself a giant hunk of chalk. Wow, this giant chalk works way better than that little chalk. Okay guys, so first things first, I'm gonna need to separate a few eggs. Boobity boo. Six should do it. Okay, I went ahead and rinse these off a little bit. It didn't say to do that, but I just took the liberty of doing it anyway. Now we're gonna put all the eggshells inside of a plastic bag and just squish it up. I could think of to really make this nice and powdery, but it doesn't seem to really want to be breaking down. I think this should be good enough though. We're gonna go ahead and add some all-purpose flour and a little bit of hot water. Oh my gosh, the bag's leaking. I'm just gonna try my hardest to really mix this. Okay, I'm gonna have to use this. Oh, I forgot the food dye. I'm gonna try and make some bright blue chalk. Oh, that might be way too much food dye. Just close that up really good and mix it up in the bag. Oh my god, that is turning blue so quick. Oh, I should have wore gloves. Oh, I'm gonna regret this. I already know it. Well, that's some very blue chalk mixture. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tip. And grab a paper towel roll, and hopefully all of it should just kind of stay in the bottom and not leak out the sides. It feels like a thick enough mixture to where I think I should be okay. This smells very odd right now. Pushing that clay down a little bit. Now I'm gonna let this dry and sit overnight. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully my hands are not permanently dyed blue. One eternity later. Okay guys, it's been about 24 hours. It still feels a little bit wet, but I'm gonna go ahead and try and tear this apart without breaking it. Okay, let's see how this turns out. Uh, okay, it's not holding up very well. This looks disgusting. It's definitely not hard. It said in the video to only do eight hours. I let it do 24. Okay, I guess it's time for me to use it as chalk now. Um, here we go. Oh, God. Uh, uh. It's just falling apart in my hands. Guys, I'm not really feeling this chalk. I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Man, and I just got a lot of the blue dye off my hands. Ugh. Okay guys, you gotta pour your orange juice inside a bottle, but it just gets everywhere. Well, what you can do is grab yourself a straw and pour it directly on the straw. And now, you don't even need a funnel. Pour it right in. Divide loves 
gravity. Okay, let's just try it. Okay, guys. So here's our water bottle. And here's the container I'm gonna be putting in it. Uh, in the meantime. Uh, Boobity boom. And then just to simplify all this, I'm gonna get some food dye and just uh, drop that right in there. Ooh. Guys, it's so satisfying. You wanna shake it or stir? Okay, that looks pretty good. So first, we'll go ahead and try the normal method of pouring water into the bottle. You ready? Very carefully. Very carefully. Okay, and I got about that much in. But I accidentally spilled this much of it. We got it this much just by pouring it normal with my basic pouring skills. Now let's try the straw method. For the sake of simplicity, I'm gonna go ahead and top this bad boy off. Clean up any residue I may have uh, left over from the previous experiment. Let me pour back in. We have a controlled environment, and that's what's important here. Just slap our straw right in. Hey guys, you ready for this? Here we go. Oh. Oh. I've already spilled a lot. I've already spilled so much. I've already made so many mistakes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, I see you. Oh, it's going around the straw. Oh. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm so close. <laughs> I got it everywhere! <laughs> okay! And with, uh, you know, my newfound uh, pouring method, this is how much we spilled, and this is how much we actually got into. I actually have to take this off. There we go. That is definitely less than how much I did with my, you know, regular pouring skills. My skills that I've acquired out of the 27 years I've been alive. So I guess with this one, I guess I'm gonna have to say, with some practice, uh, it does work, but is it as effective as if you just, you know, poured it regular? I don't know. I mean, it really depends on your skill level. I feel like this is harder. So I'm gonna have to say that this one kinda works. Okay guys, so you're at the park and you got a freaking splinter! Oh! But what you're gonna wanna do is grab a syringe thing and just suck that thing right out. And boom, no more splinter! And I'm not talking about splinter from the Ninja Turtles, I'm talking about splinter as in piece of wood. Anyway, let's try this life hack. Okay guys, so I don't really wanna just stick a piece of wood in my hands, cause uh, frankly, they've been through enough today. So instead, I'm gonna use some of this Canadian bacon, and I'm just gonna pretend that this is human flesh. Then I'm gonna grab a toothpick, and I'm just gonna really get splinters out of it. Just really rub it into our hand. Hopefully we get a nice and big one. There we go. That's a good size splinter. Just shove it right in there. Okay guys, so here's our splinter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take our syringe, and simply put it to our skin, and try and suck out the splinter. The splinter fell through. Oh no. Okay, I'll try it again. Firmly around the splinter and... I mean, it took it out. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually kind of works. Okay. I don't know what this does exactly, but apparently wrapping tinfoil around your feet makes great shoes. Yeah, I don't know what good this really does. Uh... <laughs> I'm so excited to be from the future. I'm excited to be a spaceman. I'm excited to, oh man, I just messed up my tin foil. I'm excited to do that too. What did I just do? Just reapply it to my feet. Oh yes, looking really good. Oh God, Ugh. I'll just do it like this. I got new tin foil boots. I'm from the future. I'm ready to walk on the moon. I am a spaceman. And you know what? Yeah, I'll do the other one. I'll be a trendsetter. You saw it here first, guys. Well, I guess technically we saw it from Five Minute Crafts first. But you saw it here second, guys. If people start wearing tinfoil shoes, just know you saw it here second. What I'm saying is, tinfoil boots, this is the way of the future, okay? That's what I'm saying. Who needs to pay hundreds of dollars for custom boots when you got tinfoil? Custom, high quality, 100% made in America boots, okay? Well, is the tinfoil made in America? I actually don't know. It was crafted in America, and that's all that matters. I, I'll say it was uh, made in America, not 100%. Anyway, well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that these boots absolutely work. Look at what high quality, high fashion I am. These are the best boots I've ever owned. So for this life hack, we're gonna need a table. Just kidding, two tables, three tables, four tables? That's a lot of tables. Then we're gonna get a bungee cord or a rope or something, and we're just gonna attach all the tables together. And we get a tur turbulent? Turbulent? So we're gonna get ourselves a tarpaulin, and we're just gonna put that tarpaulin all over it, and then we're gonna fill it with water. And boom, we have ourselves a little hot tub! 
fancy as this. I am so excited to try out this little hot tub. Hey guys, so my backyard is pretty fantastic. I have some grass, I have flowers, I got this weird canopy thing above me, I have a barbecue, I even have tires. But you know what the one thing that my backyard doesn't have? My backyard is severely lacking a pool. So I think it's time for me to do my roommates a solid and make them a pool. So first I'm gonna need some tables. The tables look good. Now I need to tie this bad boy together. There we go, that ought to do it. Put on our tarp. And now we just add water. Actually, before I completely fill it up with water, I think I'm gonna duct tape this tarp down. That way it doesn't collapse in on itself. Oh yes, here we go. Yeah. That ought to do it. And now I'm gonna leave this to fill up. I'm just hoping that this doesn't end horribly. Let's see how my hot tub's doing. Oh, wow. It's actually filling up. I think it still needs a little bit more water, though. Okay, guys, it's nice and dark. We got the mood set. And the water. Admittedly, is a little bit cold, but that's okay. Let's go show the new pool to the boys. Come on, boys. Let's go. Johnny, you gotta do the dance. I don't yeah, want to do it. I'm not gonna share if he doesn't do it. I'm not gonna smack him anymore. Are you guys happy? Look at the arms. That's a good dance. Okay, are you guys ready to see the most amazing thing ever? Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready. Okay, come on, let's go. I made you guys a hot tub. Isn't it fantastic? Bro. I made it out of tables and a tarp. There's a hose in the water. Yeah. This is hot. <laughs> and you know, it's not exactly a hot tub. It's a it's a pretty cool tub. Um, so you guys want to take a little dip? Okay. Uh, I'll do it. Here, uh, you get in first, Pog Champ. Why is he Pog Champ? Okay, I can feel it's not warm. It's not warm? It's not warm. This is not Frank. Oh, are you Frank? Oh, God, it's really cool. <gasps> Isn't it fantastic? Oh, it's you so know, good. I don't even care. to go in completely closed. Okay, uh, I can't feel my feet. so it's a hot tub minus a hot tub. This one kind of works. No, no, how does this work? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, anyway, enjoy the hot tub, guys. Hey, this is really cold. It's too cold I don't for know me. How to leave. Okay, guys, so here is our ice cube tray. Here are our dyes. Go ahead and just add water. And then we start making the rainbow using these dyes. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. I'm mixing the red and blue together because that makes purple. But if I'm being honest, they kind of all look like the same color right now. Now we're gonna go, oh gosh. We're gonna go ahead and uh, mix them up and add the sticks. I'm gonna cut all of them in half as I put them in. Here we go. Pretty good. Now let's put it in the freezer and we'll see how they turn out. The next day. Woo! Good morning, guys! So I sort of forgot to take the popsicles out last night to show the intern. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Oh, wow! These look very nice. I like it. Good morning, intern! That's bright. Am I dead? No, dude! I, Hello, God. I was only gone for like a minute. Robbie, you did it again. Anyway, dude, I figured you might be getting a little bit bored. I swear you're only gonna be here for maybe another hour, okay? I just wanted you to hang out with me, and I made you these edible crayons. Here's some paper for you to try them out. Edible crayons? Like, watercolor. Yo! Whoa! They actually work! I'm like Vincent Van Gogh. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. And they're edible. Yeah, they're edible. They're completely how they taste. Oh, dude, your tongue is so orange now. Is it really? Yeah. It tastes like water. Like there is no flavor. Yeah, pretty much. That's all it is. This is cool. I mean, I'll, it keep me entertained. I like art. I call this one belongs in the trash. Well, in turn, I'm glad you liked it. Would you say that this one works? Yeah, I'd say that this one works. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna go do my outro now. I'll see you later. What do you mean? Also, you're free to go if you really want to go because I'm done with yes, the video. I'm done. Bye. You're gross. You're disgusting. I'm never coming back. Hey, do you want your watch back? Oh my gosh. Wait, yeah. never mind. Actually, I'm keeping Wait, it. Wait, no, I'll come back if you give me that watch. Really? Yeah, I'll come back if you give me my watch back. <laughs> Make sure 
gotta give it a big old thumbs up. It looks something like this to get fire right down there. If you guys think that these videos are funny and you wanna watch more in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. I upload videos every Friday. If you guys wanna subscribe to the intern, you can click right here. If you guys like this video and wanna watch me try even more fun life hacks and crafts, I actually have a whole playlist where I do that right here. And if that doesn't sound fun, you can always click the mystery cards. Oh, okay, you guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi Fi. I'm oh, Gordon. Okay, bye. Ah! Robbie, can I have my watch back? No way, dude, it's mine. mine.